can be constructed. Union students share firsthand accounts of the tornadoes that tore through their campus earlier this month. ABC 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Fawcett was at Freed Hardeman tonight and joins us now live with the details. Hi, Sean. Good evening, Kelly. It was an opportunity for Union students to share their stories and their faith with their peers. Like, your ears started popping, and the pressure drop is just silent, and then all of a sudden, bam, it just hit. Union students gathered at Freed Hardeman University to share personal accounts of the devastating storms that hit their campus February 5th. It's a part of Campus Safety Week. Towards the middle of last semester, we decided that we needed to have a Campus Safety Week because of the events that took place at Virginia. In their own words, Union students were able to inform those on hand how to react should severe weather affect the campus of Freed Hardeman. We really just want to share like our stories and what happened and um, just let them know that like how important it is to um, to really take tornadoes seriously and severe weather seriously. With the storm still fresh in the minds of many, panel participants say while they are educating the audience, it also helps them deal with the aftermath of the storms. Um, if you weren't there, it's hard to, to realize what happened and it's hard to get across to people that didn't experience it what we went through. But it is, it's very helpful to talk about it. Although Freed Hardeman and Union represent different faith denominations, their common Christian faith allows them to focus on what's really important. What's happened to Union, yeah, it was awful, but we've been given so many opportunities um, just to share Christ and to share who we are and to share um, just his provision that night. Um, and so I think we're all really grateful for that opportunity. The presentation was part of Freed Hardeman's observance of Tennessee Statewide Severe Weather Awareness Week. Sean Fawcett, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.